what is up everyone today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to clone yokai in yokai watch blasters now um uh, a couple things before the before I explain how to do this this does not require any sort of hacking or anything you don't need to hack your system modify your system in any way this can be done with completely unmodified hardware and also, the other thing I want to say is I don't want to. I want to list out the requirements that you'll need now, just so that if you're for some reason unable to do it, I'm not wasting your time. So anyway, let's just get right into it. The requirements for this are: you pretty much just need uh, either two DSs and two copies of the game, or a friend to do this with. If you don't have either of these, uh, there will be a couple of Discord servers linked. Uh, in the description, uh, a few actually, and you could probably, uh, post some, post like a, I don't know, a trade post on there. They have trading sections. They'll, uh, asking someone, uh, do you wanna, do you wanna help me clone, uh, clone in this game? Uh, but yeah, I'll, if you want a more in-depth explanation of those Discord servers, I'll keep them down in the description, but... Really, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep a basic explanation here, just so I'm not having a five-minute section explaining them. But basically, Mount Wildwood is the official Yokai Watch Discord owned by uh, the YouTuber 101 Leafy. Uh, highly recommend joining that. There's also YBA Hall, which is pretty much a server for blasters. It's uh, really really cool. Uh, they have they have just, uh, a lot of cool stuff happening over there. And there's also going to be, uh, <laughs> uh, the, the last Yamurai's Dojo, if you want to join us, if you want to join it for the emojis, I guess, because it's pretty dead, even, even Ivy himself has admitted that it's dead. And there's also Yokai Watch Revived, which doesn't really have anything to do with this, I'm just shilling it because, well, it's something my friend's working on, I want to promote it. But yeah, again, detailed descriptions of those will be in the description. Okay. Okay, so what you want to do, say this has the save, uh, say this is White Dog Squad on this DS, and I want to duplicate a Pandanoko, right? So, what I would do on this DS, when you get, get to this screen here, instead of choosing R R Moon Rabbit Crew, I'm going to choose either Red Cat or white dog squad depending on what version this actually is basically just don't click moon rabbit crew and I'm going to start a new game and play up until I unlock trading uh, it doesn't take that long take it usually takes me about an hour and a half and I'm the biggest procrastinator on the entire planet so it'll probably take you like an hour maybe I want to say uh, if you're just speeding through, not really caring about what's happening, I, I want to say. Uh, and then, once you've gotten to that point, you're going to... Because remember, this is the save that has... This is the save that has uh, Pandanoko on it. You're going to start a trade between both of these, right? Trade whatever yokai you want to clone onto this file. This is going this one's the one you just started is going to be the cloning file. And anything you want to anything you want to clone is going to go onto the cloning file. Can be multiple yokai at once. Uh but yeah, uh once you're done with that uh once you've done all of that, I would recommend writing this down just so that way uh you remember uh in case just in case you forget a step and something gets messed up uh, once you've done all that, though, the yokai are on the file. You gotta select Moon Rabbit Crew. And then, import data from Red Cat. And now you're gonna import the data. You're going to input, import the data from any of these. I mean, not any of these, sorry. From whichever one, let's see this bottom one was the one I, is, was the cloning file. I would import this once into a, into a, uh, 
into a moon rabbit slot. And then I would go into it and trade all the yokai back to this. So let's say I had a pandanoko on there. I trade the pandanoko there. And then once I've done that, I go back, import the data again into that same slot, overriding it. And then I do the same thing again until I have multiple pandanokos. So you can do this with any yokai, I'm pretty sure. Uh,. I've heard people saying rumors that, uh, for some reason you can't do it with, like, Moon Rabbit Yokai, but, like, I, I'm pretty sure that's not true, but I can't actually test that for myself. Uh, if, if it's, if it is true, it'll just straight up tell you you can't do it, but, uh, so, I'd say just try anyway if you really want to, but, yeah, that's pretty much it, honestly. That's literally it. So, if as long as you have one of the yokai, you can make as many of these as you want. You want to have, like, 12 Elder Blooms, maybe you want to make an Elder Bloom Soul or something, you can use this to get multiple Elder Blooms and turn, turn it into a soul. Uh, you could do this to get multiple... Uh, I don't know, Bison Burlies, right? Ones per save yokai, multiple Starry Noko, multiple Panda Noko, multiple anything. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for today. Uh, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications to be notified of when I upload. And one, one thing before I go, I want to say I'm super sorry for uh, not responding to or hearting any of your comments in the last, like, month. Uh... The, in the past, like, month and a half or something, I was pretty much just using my mom's, uh, my mom's Chromebook to make videos, and I was too lazy to add my email to it, so I was just using her account, which is marked as a manager, and while I can upload videos using it, I can't react to or comment on any of your comments, but now I am able to, so I'm definitely gonna get on that while this video is uploading, but yeah. Anyways, yeah, uh, like and subscribe, notifications, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.